Welcome to this special edition of Hannity. I'm Dan Bongino, in tonight for Sean. Now, Joe Biden and the extreme Democrats tonight are failing at the border, failing abroad, and failing to deliver for working-class Americans all across this great country. And the worst part is they're doubling down on this reckless, radical, ridiculous, irresponsible, socialist agenda every single chance they get. For example, Joe Biden's unveiling a whopping $6 trillion budget proposal, the largest in U.S. history, that would vastly expand the size and scope of the already bloated, in-debt federal government and vastly increase Washington's role in managing your everyday life. According to estimates, if actually enacted, the plan would put the annual budget deficit at $1.3 trillion per year for the next decade and would put us on a path to having the highest ever national debt as a proportion of the economy. So don't be fooled by the Democrats' political platitudes, their cheap nonsense talking points, and their far-left fantasies. What Joe Biden is doing is mortgaging our future, and your kids, too, and creating a perfect storm for fiscal chaos for current and future generations. What Joe Biden was doing right now, it's not smart. It's not even sane. And it's certainly not sustainable. It's a big government binge of more taxes, more debt, more spending, and guaranteed turmoil. Don't buy the Democrats' lies that these trillions and trillions will be paid by the so-called rich. Do the math. It's common sense. Because in the end, this will be paid for by you, working-class, dirt-under-the-fingernails, middle-class Americans who work for a living all across the country. And what about inflation? Rising costs at the gas pump and at your grocery store? You're going to have to pay for that, too. But the destructive Democratic agenda doesn't stop there. Because despite an intensifying crisis at our southern border, Biden's budget leaves the Homeland Security budget flat. The one thing we should be devoting more resources to is the one item he decided to leave out. But the fawning fake newsers in the press, they continue to play defense for Joe. At every turn, they continue to act as an arm of the Democrat Party, instead of focusing on Biden's failures and his total, complete inability to lead. Don't believe me? Look at this embarrassing fiasco this week when they asked Sleepy about his ice cream. Take a look. Mr. President, what did you order? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. Mr. President, what is your message to Republicans who are prepared to block the January 6th commission? Eat some chocolate, chocolate yeah. chip. Nice work, fellas. Hard hitting. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.